上の The next station is Shinyo Shuo. Day one, sixteen. The door on the right side will open. Hello, everybody. We are on our way to Shin Okubo. And it's crazy how quick the train ride is from Shinjuku. Wow. We're going to be walking that back, and it's going to take us about 15 minutes. But I bet you it takes us close to the 30. Ah, we've made it. Finally, this is Shin Okubo. How you doing, everybody? So in this episode, I'm going to be taking you around. I wanted to start off on the train ride because just to give you an idea how close it is to Shinjuku, uh, it, it's only about an 18-minute walk according to Google Maps right here. Here's, this, here's the, the um, path that we're going to be taking today. And I'll take you a little bit up past around Shin Okubo kind of give you a better idea of the area and then we're going to walk back through the the narrow streets to Shinjuku West and it should be really interesting despite the rain that's never slowed us down you still got to get out there and, and see stuff so let's say goodbye to the train and move we have ourselves an adventure as always let me know if the signal is not too good and uh, I'll try to adjust it Welcome to Shin Okubo. Thanks to our, my Patreon supporters and everybody who've been encouraging me to come here. There's the uh, one of the entrances to Shin Okubo. I see WRX Turbo is in the house. How you doing? Not the greatest day for it. Bradshaw Studios. Thank you, Bradshaw Studio. Let's get in. Let's get in there. Let's get that on the street. We're going to be taking that alley over there. But I like starting up here for a reason. Check this out. We have this amazing view of right there. Check it out. It's wet, but <laughs> it's definitely navigable. It's also a colorful area of the city and not as crowded as the Shinjuku area, but we are very close. This is also a lot of accommodations. You see the Sobo line on the other side. All right, let's go. Wow, it's crowded. So because the Yamanote line is coming every like two to three minutes, there aren't too many opportunities to get out cleanly. Especially if you stick around and like to talk on the platform like I do. This station had a renewal a few years ago. Just a, I guess before the pandemic. I can't remember when that when it happened. Wow, it is more crowded than I thought it would be. I guess it's a lot of students that are letting out right now, out and about. But it is raining, and uh, I found that even with the rain, just the tourist numbers are still really high right now. It feels so different than it did. Pre-pandemic, of course. Wow! All right, here we are, street level. There's the Yamanote line making its way out of here, our ride, and let's explore. First off, um, I'm going to take you to the left here and go up this alley going up north. It's not really an alley, it's more like a street. You can go this way and there, there's some fine Korean barbecues, some really fine Korean restaurants in this direction. Down the, this street here, but I found that sticking on the other side is a little bit better, sticking on this side. That's what we're gonna do. 
Wow, look at all the people. This place has always been quite deserted. If this is a place you want to see, you can give, give me a shout out here because you are a live stream and I will try my best to navigate in that direction. All right, this is the main road we're going to be going down in about uh, five minutes time, but we're going to take a roundabout way to do that. Here's the proposed uh, route for, from Shin Okubo Station. We're going to go down that alley, but let's go up north, which is off of this map, just for a couple of minutes to take a look at this area. Right? Look at the McDonald's there. Now, this neighborhood has a lot of ethnic food, restaurants, supermarkets as well. So it might be a good thing to come this way if you're looking for something for cooking that you can't find in a store for other Asian countries. You can most often find it here. It hasn't changed that much. I have to be honest, this, this neighborhood has not changed that much. That 100 yen store is still there. There's an Indian uh, curry place, Arabian food, and Turkish food. They've kind of like put it all into one. Wow, it smells like another country in there. How awesome is that? I gave him a wave from us. <laughs> this, people are pretty friendly around here. This is a yao ya, it says here, the kan kanji, and uh, you get some, some fresh vegetables here, but there's a lot of different things. Oh, look, there's mangoes right in the center there. I'm tempted. Oh, it smells so wonderful. Spices. Look at that, there's another supermarket in there. It smells like India in there. Oh my gosh. It smells like India. Oh, this is awesome. Behind me, you can see there's another supermarket here ready to eat. You can get some, some stuff to, I guess, finger food. That's really amazing. Like I, I, it does feel like you're in another country here. That's so awesome. Oh, you got some takeaway stuff. A Xiaomi burger. What do they got? Let's take a look. Oh, you can take away biryani? How awesome is that? Samosas? Ooh. Samosa chat. Ooh, pani puri. What? I haven't had that since I was on Chapati Beach in Mumbai. And yakitori, that's a little unusual, but the other stuff seems to fit in. And you know, if they had a masala dosa, I might get that. Wow, okay, well, let's see what else we can get here. It's too early just to jump into the food, isn't it? It's never too early. Oh, that's right. Hey, Michael's here. All right, let's see what we can find, Michael. I will give it my, my best to grab some, some street eats. We're gonna take a left here and just wrap around and go back down that, that main street. So if you're watching live, give us a, give us a minute as we uh, just look around the neighborhood a bit. This looks like a dead end. <laughs> I don't think I can go this way. The, here's the thing, all right? This part of, of uh, Shinjuku, the streets kind of wrap all around. And there's another, another uh, is this a Pakistani restaurant? There's a Pakistani restaurant right there. It's very easy to get lost here, and I, I encourage you to do that. Because it's a lot more fun to travel around Japan lost. And you discover stuff that nobody else does. And who knows, you know, a lot of people say, you've already done this before, you've already done this walk. But the thing is, every couple of years, Japan Especially Tokyo, things change, evolve, new things come, old things go. And that is, 
I think pretty critical information for a lot of you who are coming to visit here. It's also nice to see the old hoods, old neighborhoods. Now, I'm here in Shinjuku for a reason, not just to show you, not just to show you um, Shinokubo. And we haven't done a Shinokubo Street View, I think, ever. I, I know I came here once for a live stream in like 2017, maybe. I'm pretty sure I walked from Takara no Baba to Shinjuku through here. But this is the first time that I've, I've been specifically in this neighborhood. Oh, there's the green Nasco. You can see it more clearly walking back the way we came. That is a really good um, um, place to get basmati rice, I've, I've heard. You can also get it on Amazon, but it just seems a little bit better to support local businesses here. I don't know. I might pay more just to do that, but it is a hike to get out here. Wow. I can smell grilling meat. Of course, everybody knows the Korean barbecue, pulgogi. It's very famous. Not just in Korea, it's here in Japan. Japanese love Korean food, but they, they kind of mess up, mess around with it and change the flavor where kimchi becomes kimuchi, which is more of a not as, not as a spicy variety of it. There's Shin Okubo Station. You can see the umbrellas are out in force, so I have to watch my eye. I have a raincoat on, so I have no intention to use the umbrella unless it downpours. However, you do have to watch your eyes because it's so crowded now. You get an umbrella to the eye, it sort of hurts. Oh, that's a nice shot right there. That's the new Shin Okubo station. All right, let's go down the street here. Red light. So from this point, it's about a, they, Google says it's an 18 minute walk and they're pretty accurate with the maps. You can put a location one place to the other. It's about two minutes on the Yamanote line. But I always say walk the city of Tokyo because it's just so, so interesting. Here's another Asian market. They've got halal food as well. Wow, they got coconuts down there. And there's papaya? Whoa. You don't see that in the Japanese supermarket. Interesting. All right, it is lunchtime, which would explain the smell of grilling beef. Ah, yes. That's a nice looking guitar store too. Thai restaurant there. Now I got a little bit of uh, spiciness. So there's a little Thai corner here. The menu looks really good as well. Let's see what we have here. Okay. This is the tom yum soup as well as green curry. Price, prices are pretty reasonable as well. There's Nepal, you've got the, the coolest flag. It's not shaped like a flag right there. So Nepal is being represented. You get some momo, which are like, a, uh, I guess you call them dumplings. It's sort of like gyoza. Man, when I was in Tibet and, and Nepal, that's all I ate. Momo and buttermilk tea and occasional beer. Where's the Shin Okubo post office? Speaking of it, I was just, the reason why I'm here in Shinjuku is I sent, I just sent off the postcard for this month. Check it out here. This is, um, uh, the famous scene from Shinjuku, I sent it out, um, what was it, a few hundred postcards. 
I always like to send the postcards from the area if I can, but what was cool about this, this shot for the postcard this month, Godzilla is next to Mario and the two of them are like doing battle. And uh, I had to send it from, the, the guy at the Shinjuku post office was, was, kept looking at it because I, I always hand them to them because I've separated them by country. And he was looking at it and he kept pointing to the Godzilla with a smile like I was a tourist and I didn't know what that was. I'm like, yeah, I know Godzilla. <laughs> but he was, he was proud and he showed me it's gonna have a Shinjuku postmark on it. So they, that's kind of cool to do. But more than that, and you can still get them, I'm still sending these postcards. Uh, I put on this month the, uh, 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 check it out, sideways here, but this is the Pokemon, I can't bring it this way. This is the Pokemon game stamps. And I, I actually have these Pokemon game stamps on this month's postcard. So if you're interested, you're gonna get one of these 10. All of them are pretty cool this month. I've been saving this for a couple of years. Which one do you get? I don't know. It's fate. It's your destiny. All right, we just passed here a, uh, that looks pretty good. What is that? Oh, this is a, a Thai Vietnam bar restaurant. What? Actually, it's got all of the Asian countries like from Southeast Asia, well, including India, South Asia and Southeast Asia. There's Singapore, uh, China, Korea, Malaysia over here, Thailand, Vietnam. India and Nepal. So I guess you get a little bit of everything. You can go around the world in one restaurant while well, around, around South Asia. Wow. Let's get a closer look at the menu here. Man, you know, Malaysia, I would say, it's, it's hard to, to pick. All the food is so good in Southeast Asia, but Malaysia is just so darn good. Vietnam as well. What am I saying? It's all really tasty stuff here. And then Nepal, where are the momos? Oh, here they are. Steam momos. And that sauce is so good. I can't remember what it is. I think it's a curry sauce. But Malaysia, this is uh, Singapore and Malaysia together. Singapore chili crab. Whoa. Wow, look at this. In Vietnam, the prices are pretty good. All under a thousand yen. That is very good. All right, let's keep on walking. All right, I don't have the smell of grilling meat. I think that street that I showed you at the beginning of it might have more Korean barbecues. Here we're seeing a really amazing Thai vibe to it all. Here's another Thai restaurant here. Get a quick look at the menu. Really amazing vibe here, Thailand, yeah. Look at that. Hey, Katayama's in the house. Thank you, buddy. I think I will, before I get back and, and start to edit, just putting in the subtitles to an interview. There's an asento here. No, wait. They say it's an onsen? It's a 2,000 yen to enter and you can stay for up to eight hours. So you could actually just sit there and check this out. You could just, enter the bath for eight hours and just stay here overnight and relax at the sauna. And they show you some of the um, beds here. If you want to stay and get an actual bed, you have to pay another 12, uh, 1,200 yen. But 3,200 yen and you, you get a, a spot to crash in and you can go to the bath and there's places to sit and work. So that, that's like a, if you miss the last train option, that's really good. Looks pretty clean in there, you never know. <laughs> but a lot of these places are in, in areas like this. They're a little bit older. Um, manga Kisa or Manga Cafe are also uh, uh, highly recommended. Look, there's a Korean restaurant, barbecue, with pictures of the, the guests up there. A lot of happy, happy faces. Oh, Chijimi. Oh, wow. I can smell it now. This is an awesome neighborhood. So let's take a look, look back at it. Here you see, it, it's very colorful. I'm 
Malcolm says you would watch out for those places. I used to stay at those places. It's okay, but I wouldn't go there with a lot of suitcases and baggage and stuff. Um, I know the CEO of this company. <laughs> I interviewed him and hung out with him for a while. He makes these uh, boxes. You put in a thousand yen and you can get perhaps a camera. I think Eric Sir Six got a camera out of it when he was doing it, but he put in like 10,000 yen, I think, in his video. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of routes from here to take. Um, we could go straight. That looks like it's possible. Or we can go underneath the, un underneath the Yamanote tracks. But that's why I kind of brought a map with me here. It says, I, I think it says just keep going straight. Oh, no, no, right here, okay. Right here, I kind of have to take the turn. It's very easy to get lost here. I also, let me give you a bird's eye view of this area while I can. This is, um, there's you see Shinjuku on the left side going over that new skyscraper in Kabukicho. And right in the center of your screen, although it's hard to see, that's Shinokubo, yeah, right there. And there's the station that we came out of right there. It might be the other, the other side of it. but that gives you kind of an overview of the neighborhood. It, it's very close to Shinjuku. Let's go underneath the track and take a look at the street really quickly before we, we go, go here. This is a new store. It's Korean beauty products. What? Ito Honey. So you can get some Korean beauty products. Never seen that before. New shop. We're gonna go underneath the tracks here. Just take a quick look. See, what's this? This oh, this is the hotel, Shinjuku North Hotel. That looks really clean and renovated. But the thing is, it reminds me of a love hotel. So <laughs> I'm not sure if that's my kind of place. That has the style of a love hotel. I don't know. I think it might be just a normal hotel. This alley is super cool looking. Check it out. It's, it's a, right underneath the Yamanote line, but you have a graffiti or painting on it, and it makes it very colorful. Here comes a train. <laughs> it does look like a love hotel. <laughs> Pass. You, you, you can tell if it's a love hotel because it'll tell you the prices for stay and for rest. And typically a love hotel is, what is it, two hours? Two to three hours for a stay and then overnight, usually the, the uh, sorry, for rest and the stay is uh, overnight and that's usually um, from, let's see, I haven't stayed there in a long time. I don't know, it was like nine, nine or 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. Okay, so now you can, now you can really see it, okay? There's the, the new skyscraper that's a huge entertainment center for Kabukicho. And there's a Korean barbecue right there in front of us. And if you go back towards Shinokubo, there's some really nice restaurants in this direction. Shall we go back to Shinokubo Station? It seems like almost like a waste to go to Shinjuku. You've seen that so many times before. Let's walk on the other, well, we'll let's walk back up and see the um, other side of the Shinokubo Station, because I think we should do a very thorough look around the neighborhood here. The 2D Cafe, brought to you in 2D, thanks to YouTube's high technology, now in 1080p. You know, to, to me, Korea is a, is, is a place of amazing street food. So I'm guessing that street that I showed you earlier. So let's go take a look and see if we could find some topoki or something. Oh my gosh, those are so good. They're like uh, mochi and very spicy, delicious sauce. I've gotten that when I was in, I used to uh, have a special friend in Korea. <laughs> times a visitor 
It's a little weird. She wasn't the same person in Korea as she was back in the USA. Met her at Ohio State. Big change. Korean cuisine most magical moment. Oh, I like that. If you're looking for a magical moment, we have found your place. It does look like more fun. This is definitely not in the style of Japan. And look on the roof, they have these tables and bubbles. How cool is that? Like that is, they don't do that kind of stuff here in Japan. I think the eating experience in Japan is, is so traditional, kind of boring sometimes, honestly. There's not a lot of street eating. And even these outdoor barbecue plate, the outdoor eating is not that, is not that popular anymore. Like that's all old Showa era stuff. The, uh, Nombe Yokocho in Shibuya, there's the Omoide Yokocho, another alley here in Shinjuku. These are like old style, no doors, just go in and eat, kind of feel the, the urban area around you. You don't get that a lot anymore. Um, there's a place in Ginza right near Yurakucho Station. There's Okachimachi and Shimbashi. Those areas are very famous for that. You don't find Other side of the station which I didn't show you at the beginning so those joining us welcome to Shin Okubo this is the this is the station that I showed you in that Google Maps about five minutes ago waffle Khan I have a friend with the last name Khan in India what is this an Indian restaurant Indian waffles Well, it's certainly, it's certainly pretty busting here, but bustling. I guess that used, this used to be the uh, the station, but now it's become a very long time. But I'll, they moved the, the new station onto the other side, and uh, it definitely needed improvements. I remember walking through there when it was older. I'm pretty sure they had a station side, station on this side. Bus, bustling, I forgot the T. All right, let's see what we can see. Maybe there's some kimbap. There's the Paris Mickey on the other side, which is what, I'm not sure. And it looks like there's a, a Purikura upstairs, or is that a cafe? I don't know, Korean restaurants are so cute. Look at that. Wow, you can't even walk on this street because it's so crowded. I could go for some chicken. There's Nene chicken. Wow. All right, there's that hot dog. There's some street food right there. I'm getting hungry now. Wait, Katayama, Michael, this is, this is I think I'm gonna, to, I'm, gonna I'm, break, I'm gonna break down in a second if I don't eat something. All right, so we have another, there you get the, the typical yaki niku, the grills inside there. It looks like it's already full. They're turning people away. They're turning people away from this restaurant. What is lunchtime? Always, I, I would say now since the tourists came back here, you gotta get, if you wanna go to a place that's popular, you need a reservation and if they don't take them, you have to get there early. And it's just, it's part of now the way things are. This boom is gonna be here for a long time. Oh, this is like some sort of a Korean, is it? Yeah, like idol thing. Guess who's in the house? Start to the B, end to the N, Brandania. Welcome. Aloha. Oh, I did. I used to have a yaki niku group on Facebook. I had to end it because I was I kept losing money on it. Because if people didn't show up, they'd still charge me. We used to, I think we had a couple of what was, what, five or six hundred people in the group. Forty-five to fifty people would show up every month, 
And uh, it was a lot of fun. That's how I was able to see my friends once a month. That's why I did the group, so we would uh, meet once a month, meet being M-E-A-T. And we came to this area a couple of times. I don't see that restaurant, but I know we, ha we had the party on a balcony because it's hard to put 45 people in here in a restaurant. They, sometimes they don't take reservations for that, or they say, please come earlier. Oh, okay, I think it was that one right up there, but it's changed. Some of the restaurants have changed uh, hands here. There's a Family Mart, but it doesn't... It looks, it feels a little bit different than Family Marts in different parts of the of Japan. <laughs> because this is Shinokubo, baby. Wow. I guess you get to eat Korean food that looks like that. Interesting. Is that the place? No. I think I, I think we ate once here and they gave us a really good deal. And I think there's a couple of other restaurants up above, uh, over in this direction. I can't remember. I started that group in 2010 and we ended it in 2017, I think. So it was a good seven year run. Wow, Korean cosmetics are really popular in Japan. There's some more over there. What's that called? Myeondon. Is that one of the places? This Donchan looks like looks familiar to me. Oh yeah, the building's up there. Sometimes you have to look up past the second or third floor. These buildings have restaurants going up seven, eight floors sometimes. Absolutely, I think that this is the street. This looks really, this is new. Look at the menu. Oh my gosh, look at the cheese. Ah, oh, I hear some topoki. It's a little pricey. Usually it's uh, like a, a couple hundred yen in, on the street. Oh, it looks nice in there. I can admit I haven't been uh, to this area in a very long time. There's a, a little shrine in there. You're not allowed to go in there to drink. <laughs> they have signs. They know what this neighborhood is famous for. Look at this massive Korean supermarket. There's a lot of people going in here. Wow. The Seoul Ichiba, it's called. The Seoul Market. And you can see there's people who are from the vending machine getting some street food. What are they making? Oh yeah, look, they've got topoki here. Get a mozzarella hot dog, a cheese ball. What do you guys think? Um, a sweet potato dog, a bacon, bacon egg. What? Oh, I'm, I don't know what to get. Oh, that looks good. The honey, red bean. I think these, um, hotok is this one here. I wonder how long it takes to get one. How long does it take to get one? Let's walk around first because there's more. There's a tornado potato. Check it out. They take a potato and they make a tornado out of it. That's pretty insane. All right, I got a thousand yen here. Let's take a look. It looked like there was a bunch of, bit of a line there. I can't 
can't not get something. All right, check this out here. So first, I think this looks like a pachinko place. I thought it was maybe a, a massive like a complex for a shopping mall or something, but it's actually a pachinko place. That's a, that's a shame. <laughs> and you can see a little bit further down here. It keeps kind of going on, but I think that the Korean town goes away a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take you down this alley here next to the Lawson's, and we're going to go see what we can see here. I, I always say be adventurous, get lost, go down alleys. In Japan, you won't get mugged, usually. And you might discover something, something pretty cool. I don't think I've ever been down this alley. And I've been to a lot of alleys. So let me know if the signal goes away or if we have any problems with it. Again, this is a live stream. And if you are in the Shinjuku area, it is really worth coming out to this direction. Here's another Asian supermarket. Korean dining. Oh man, that's the one cuisine that I haven't had enough of in the last few years because of the pandemic. Korean food. Oh, I think it's time to get on a, on a plane and fly over though. But if you walk through here, you don't have to. Flights to Korea are typically really inexpensive. So I'm already way off of that map I showed you. <laughs> like I decided I'm not going to Shinjuku. I'm gonna stay right here. I think the Oedo line might even connect up close to here. I think there's a Higashi Shinjuku. But the rain is starting to come down a little bit more here. Another cosmetic shop. Wow. You know, I think the, the pig, you see him all over in Korea. <laughs> I've, seen a, I've seen the pig, okay, finally a chicken. I've seen more pigs in, in uh, this area than I did cows or chickens, and finally to the right here, to the left here, I, thought I saw a chicken. Yeah, they do look very much quote unquote Korean. I mean, because this is Korea. Oh, I've had these big strips, but that's not chicken, that's pork. What the heck is that? It's Seoul Tiramisu. Should I try that? I've never seen that before. Wow, and it keeps on going and going. And check this out. There's like this um, small corner full of restaurants. What? This restaurant, they had one. We walked coming back in this direction. I think I made the right choice not walking to Shinjuku and, and Sticking with the Shin Okubo theme here. Wow, and they have uh, a pretty good lunch lunch menu set here. I gotta bring Kanai out here. Gotta take her to the Honey Cafe. <laughs> well, where else would you take your honey? I don't know what this Seoul Tiramisu is. They have an original blueberry. I guess it's just Tiramisu in a cup. But they seem to have a lot of them. Check it out. There's one with a cookie on there. You know, a lot of people say, should, should you, sh you know, there is somewhat of a rivalry between Korea and Japan, but I have to be honest with you, I don't think the people here really care that much about that. I think it's more political stuff here. I know that everybody, all of my friends in Japan, the Japanese friends, love Korea and vice versa. People in Korea, they really love Japan and every now and then something might pop up pol politically, but they're both very nationalistic uh, countries in their own ways. and. People ask, people got angry and said, I'm not going to visit Japan, I'm going to visit Korea when the borders were closed. And I said, that's fine. 
<laughs> I think people are like, okay. <laughs> Korea is a really pretty, is a really nice place too to visit. I, I think that there's a, um, I don't know, you know what? I think it's the last, I, I did, haven't really seen Korea much in the last 20 years, but when I was there, I felt more, you could feel more East Asia feeling, I think, in Korea than I did in, maybe it's because of the street food culture, the eating outside culture, the eating out culture. I felt more of that than I did in Japan. Japan is like a subdued, in some ways, Korea. Korea is more like, I don't know, just, it's just more, dare I say, even like more fun, especially because of the, I, I think mostly because of the street food. It's just more vibrant in a way. Or maybe it's because the grass is greener on the other side and I live here and I see a different side of it. But as a visitor, Korea is awesome. What do you have to say about that live stream, people? <laughs> Who's visited Korea and Japan? What are the differences and how do you feel about, uh, about that? Which one is better to visit? And can you visit both on the same trip? I think it's a pretty good idea. And I'm gonna throw China in there too because I, was, I backpacked through China. Oh, check this out, UFO, hey UFO Bob. I found your chicken dish. <laughs> I wonder if UFO Bob is here. All right, let's get let's get something from this. I can't come here and not order something. Let's get one of these. Um, oh look, they got ham cheese. Kimchi cheese. Okay, just get a honey. I think we have to wait our turn here. Well, it's kind of cool here. Look at this as well. It looks like a blood bank. It seemed like a really nice supermarket. Check it out. It's really clean inside. So I'm trying to get... Toku. Oh, the Hachimitsu? Uh. Oh. Japan one of these days, Jeff, <laughs> Jeffrey. You can see the rain outside, there's umbrellas. Oh wow, those, are the, those look like the, the cookies from Squid Game, look. Wow. I can tell you one thing, they're made fresh. <laughs> What else they got here? So I think this is the one that I ordered. Honey. And then they had ham. So what a lot of people get this one, like the bacon, you know what it is. 
Wow. It's it's right there. The waiting just makes you even more hungry. They're certainly fresh, handmade. Look at that. He's literally putting honey in it. The one thing you want to, you don't want to do is eat an undercooked anything. So I'm gonna say, take your time. <laughs> this is better than watching paint dry. At least you can eat the end result. I'm not sure in Korean, but... Yeah, Artur, I can't move on because I'm waiting. I think, I think I'm here. Ah, uh, Hachimitsu? Finally. Oh my gosh. Waiting. I don't like to do that. This is why I, I sometimes don't want to get street food when there's a line. You just never know. There was no line when I got the ticket and then all of a sudden you just say go to the back and there's a line. They hide that from you. That's actually pretty good business, smart business. All right, let's move on to the end of the street where I could possibly eat this. Hello. Hello. Who is that? Someone looked at me, said hello, and walked by. That's interesting. Oh, it's so hot. I don't think I could eat it if I, if I wanted to. I'm going to have to let it cool down a minute. Oh, it's so hot. That's why he put, he put, like, put them in, put tissues around it. So for those that are joining us right now, this is Shin Okubo. This is a, a very unique area of Shinjuku. I see Arthur Vandalay is here. This is a welcome. This is a, a very unique part of Shinjuku. Just just one station, I guess you could say north up from there. It's about a 15 to 20 minute walk from Shinjuku's uh, west side, and uh, it's a very very famous ethnic neighborhood. We started off looking at um, the other side of the station, which had a ton of Thai, uh, um, what was it? Thai Vietnamese. Some Korean restaurants on that other side, and there was one restaurant that had uh, food from all over the place. But we also went up to another side of the street on the other side of, of the station that had uh, four or five Indian supermarkets all selling uh, really good stuff. And most of them had halal written on them, if not all of them. 
that require halal, you have that option here, which is totally cool. Following these ladies with the umbrellas. Oh yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Well, that was nice. There he, he's gone. <laughs> That's so cool. I would share this with you, but it's so hot. <laughs> it's burning into my hand. Wow. Look at the sweets that they have here. Honey bread. Carbohydrates and sugar. It's part of the diet. I'm supposed to I'm not supposed to have that as part of my diet. No sugars, no carbs. I guess if you're on a diet, don't come to Japan. <laughs> don't go anywhere if you're on a diet. Stay in your house. <laughs> go to work, come home, and, and you'll never have to be tempted to eat honey bread. Oh wow, copper. It sure is a vibrant place here. All right, let's, let's give it a go. It was burning into my hand. Mmm. That's good. Of course I knew it would be. It's very mochi mochi, kind of springy to it. Buttery, salty. And you can see there's like that cinnamon honey oozing out of there. That's a good spot. Yeah, you know what? Straight food. At least to me. Takoyaki's nice, but my gosh. This is like pure sugar. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's oozing out. Oh. Diet is over. It was never going to last. It's still super hot in there. because I'm a man walking around town holding a stick and talking to magical friends on the other side. Diet is more than over. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jara. Thank you for that. Well, I can rebound from this. I praise you. All right, there's signs, no smoking, no littering. And um, if you are a smoker, just keep in mind one thing. Ronald writes in here, you can do it, really. Keep in, keep in, keep in mind one thing. If there's wards, um, which are the cities within Tokyo, where you can't smoke. Mine is one of them. And the police, I saw them find some, somebody yesterday. For smoking in a non smoking. There's that. All right, here's a, here's a, one more time the um, video of the area just to get a, give you a look here. You see, I'm going right over Shinjuku, and the center of your screen is where I am right now.
Right down the corner, right there. So there you go. What do you guys think? Is Shin Okubo your type of town? I like it. I'm glad that you guys, I, you know, I'm only out here because one, I had to send the postcards to Shinjuku and two, because everyone's been telling me, go to Shin Okubo, you will not regret it. You gotta show us Shin Okubo. And well, here I am and I'm glad that I did. Very cool. All right, it, this Shin Okubo is a two minute, two minutes from uh, Shinjuku on the train. Here's a map. I was supposed to walk it. I did not. 17 minutes of walking and about two minutes on the train here. Is this the one? Yeah. I oh, know the other map. I have two maps of, of it. Yeah. So it's, it's a pretty easy station. Go left, go past Rico Supermarket, make a quick left, uh, right. And that's it. That's how close it is. Very cool. I was on um, a Japanese TV last Friday. You can see there's uh, that's me on the on the Hirobi News program. I go in every couple of months talk about inbound tourism, tourism, uh, the places people like to go, and uh, they. You can hear me butchering the Japanese language in, on YouTube right now, if you want. No, I'm, I will not put a link in the description, but I'm sure somebody else will. It's on our Discord server. You might want to check it out there. <laughs> oh my god, it's very embarrassing. I don't think they bring me on to, 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 for my skills in, in Japanese. But it's always a huge honor, and I'm glad that I get a chance to communicate with, the, with people in Japan about you guys, about people visiting Japan. What are some of the new sites, the new trends? Because that's what I do. All right, we're underneath the Yamanote line right now, going towards the station, and I'll, I'll show you that. I am getting a feeling a bit of a sugar high and, and having some regrets <laughs> for what I have done. I've been pretty good for the last uh, week or so. This keto diet or keto, I'm not sure how you say it. Mostly uh, meat and uh, no carbs and sugar. Did a pretty good job with that until today. Thank you. <laughs> Was it worth it? Yeah. That tasted pretty good. Nostalgic. Reminded me of Korea. And it should have. Whoa, she has, she has SHIT on her hat. She wrote SHIT on her hat. Whoa. So here's the station, and it looks chaotic, of course. Shin Okubo Station. It's pretty crazy. I don't think it. I don't think it. It, it feels like a. Oh, it is a weekend. That's why. Don't. Oh, it's a Saturday. I forgot. I thought today was like a, a weekday. Oh, I'm so messed up. I've been just editing with my head down for so long. I don't even remember what day it is. All right, well, I got to go into the station. You guys want to come with me? Let's finish up on the platform. It is crowded. I mean, I didn't know that Shin Okubo was such a, uh, such a big tourist attraction. I guess it is. Things, and that, that's why I, I, I'm really happy to bring you to new areas, to bring you to old areas that I've already done before because they're always changing. It's fascinating. Sometimes the, the place is no longer the place. Sometimes the place is no longer the place and the place that was the place
And when this train leaves, you're gonna have a pretty cool view. That was pretty cool. <laughs> And there you go. Thanks everybody for watching. We had a lot of fun walking around the Shinokubo neighborhood. We've seen, uh, I saw a lot today. It's raining. You could stay inside on a day like this, but we, we did not and we had fun. And I'm glad that you guys joined us. Leave me a comment in the... Subscribe and I'll see you in another footnote. I guess that was my train. Little footnote, we'll be going to Okinawa on Wednesday or Thursday. And so I'll be taking you to another part of Japan uh, really soon, which is going to be pretty cool. I, it's been a long time since I was on the main, main Okinawa Island. I usually go to Ishigakijima, so I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, Kanai and Leo are coming with us, and so are you, which is why Only in Japan Go exists. So you, you can come with me and share live. Because, uh, yeah, Okinawa is pretty cool too. Mata ne. Tenji block no ue de tachi no wattari. Mono o okanai yo ni onegai shimasu.